Shifting gears now to talk about the history of America's spy agency. This year marks the 75th anniversary of the CIA. Its predecessor, the OSS, goes back to World War II. But in 1947, the National Security Act created the CIA, giving it the mission of intelligence gathering. In his new book, Rodri Jeffries Jones takes a look at the events that shaped the agency. It's called A Question of Standering, the History of the CIA. He joins us now live. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. So talk about how this all came about. I think people might be confused about what was it that brought the CIA to become the CIA? Did it start as just intelligence for the president? Um, well, uh, it had its antecedents. There was uh, an agency in the Second World War called OSS. And before that, there was an agency in the First World War, which nobody's heard of, called U1, which is very discreet. And it aimed to centralize intelligence to uh, make sense of it and to tell the pre president in a cogent form what was going on in the world. So when it came to 1947, uh, there were two factors. One was the recent memory of Pearl Harbor when America had been caught unawares. And second, of course, there was the Soviet threat. And the combination of those two factors meant that the nation looked to uh, setting up a new intelligence agency. In more recent history, uh, the C there have been questions about the CIA's competence when it comes to Russia, Havana syndrome, uh, weapons of mass destruction. Uh, what is the, the, the are things improving? How how were things? How have they been so bad for so long? Well, I think people uh, often list the failures of the CIA, which tend to come out and uh, become common knowledge. Many of the successes of the CIA remain secret because, after all, it is a secret organization. And it, if, if it's in a position to keep things under wraps, then that's a success story in itself. I think uh, I'd say that at the moment, the CIA is in good shape under the leadership of William J. Burns, who is just the man for the job. He was an ambassador to Russia. He knows what tricks the uh, the Russians might get up to, but also his father served under President Reagan and helped to bring about uh, an arms reduction with what was then the uh, Soviet Union. And uh, William J. Burns, the director of the CIA, believes in backdoor diplomacy. So I think he's capable not only of alerting the nation to the kind of threats that the Russians pose, but also is capable of opening the back channel to the Kremlin in due course, which might bring us a peaceful conclusion to the tragedy in, in the Ukraine. I think a lot of people might be surprised that, you know, the CIA didn't have a better handle on how they thought this would go. They thought they kind of gave the impression that this war in Ukraine would be over in a matter of days, just like other people did. Did they just underestimate the Ukrainian people? I think that uh, the uh, Russian intelligence services under underestimated the Ukrainian uh, people. They uh, conducted a special survey of opinion in, in the Ukraine. Uh, what, what were people going to do if there were a war with this giant, militarily mighty neighbor of theirs, Russia? And 40% uh, of Ukrainians said that they would not be prepared to fight against Russia. And that's hardly surprising when you think of it. It's, it's a formidable uh, country to, to take on. But what the Russians overlooked was the fact that 60% said they were willing to fight. And that's quite a high percentage, given the odds stacked against that party, uh, against uh, the Ukraine. Now, the CIA oddly made a similar error and thought that the Ukrainians uh, perhaps were not geared up psychologically to fight Russia, but also made the correct observation that they were very under-equipped to fight the uh, might of the Red Army, the, 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 the Russian army. And since then, of course, uh, the CIA has been uh, part of the United States and U.S. Army's uh, machinery for stepping up the capabilities of the uh, Ukraine and uh, are probably doing uh, a, a very valuable job now. We, we can't tell exactly what they're doing, of course. Well, Roger's book is called A Question of Standing the History of the CIA. Thank you for joining us this morning. My pleasure. 922, time now for Round Town.